preparing to honor George Floyd tomorrow with a memorial in Minneapolis. WGS Mike Lowe is live there tonight with more from Floyd's family who spoke out today before those new charges were announced. Mike. Joe and Micah, good evening from Minneapolis. Those increased charges have also brought heightened emotions for both the family of George Floyd and for the demonstrators who have been calling for those former officers to face some kind of consequence for the role they played in the death of George Floyd. So as things stand tonight here in Minneapolis, the family of George Floyd and the demonstrators have gotten some, but certainly not all of what they wanted in their quest for justice. All the world is watching. George Floyd's son stood at the spot where his father took his final breath. I'm trying to get justice for my father. And no, no man or woman should, uh, should be without their fathers. We want you. And we want justice for what's going on right now. Family attorney Benjamin Crump making a powerful statement that Floyd's death shines a light on inequality everywhere. When George Floyd said, I can't breathe because when he couldn't breathe, none of us could breathe. And so we this is a tipping point. For me, I have to personally and viscerally feel this. I don't think we get another chance to fix this in the country. I really don't. And as protesters take to the streets across the country today, last night's protests remained largely peaceful. But as curfews passed in some cities, there was once again unrest. She wanted to know how he died. And the only thing that I can tell is he couldn't breathe. And the family of George Floyd will begin the process of saying goodbye with a memorial service here tomorrow. That will be followed by one in North Carolina and then one in Houston. But again, the memorial service here tomorrow. Coming up at 10 o'clock here on WGN, we will have a candid conversation between two old friends about race and the problems of racism in this country. For now, reporting live in Minneapolis, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Mike, thank you very much. We will see you at 10.